Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Kevin and today's a pretty exciting day. My brand new rooftop tent got delivered. Um, it did come from Amazon. It came from a seller by the name of Bamacar. The brand is Nature Nest. It retails for 1200 bucks. It got delivered by a third party and I, I've seen horror stories in the past where you get a box delivered to your house and it's all beat up, ripped up and the tent might be damaged. So I didn't really know what I was going to expect. Um, but through Bamacar, you can tell they actually believe in their product or must have a quality product from here um, Because when it was delivered it actually came in a wooden box with all aluminum uh, Bracing all the way around it. So I feel like the tent is really well protected. I have not opened it up I have not seen the tent. So um, I just want to show you guys it literally was delivered um, this morning And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up But like I said, I wasn't expecting wooden metal. So I had to get some tools got an angle grinder right here and some stuff to cut the metal strap so i'll go ahead and get this thing opened up and we'll check it out together so all the way around the box are these tabs you got to bend them straight up so you can lift the top off i'm actually going to take the angle grinder and just cut them all the way off all the way around and then i got some 10 snips i can cut all these straps and hopefully with maybe just a hammer or a crowbar i can just pop this top off this tent um, just to give you an idea i don't know how big the actual box is but the tent is um, about 84 inches long and 53 inches wide it's a rather large tent. So that was a little more time consuming than I thought. It was actually easier to take a framing hammer and just knock out all the little buckles that went all the way around the box. And uh, then I can just lift the top off. So I haven't taken it off yet. I haven't looked at the tent. So let's go ahead and do that together. Got some pretty good foam all the way around. There shouldn't be any damage since it was in a wooden box and the, the wooden box didn't appear to have any damage, so. All right, so we got hard aluminum shell. There's the logo, Nature Nest right there. All right. I think this tent weighs 165 or 180 pounds. I really don't remember. So with the help of Jillian, I got it out of the box and on a little furniture mover. This is the hinge side of the tent. We, we kind of went around it looking for some damage. Um, three really nice large hinges back here. And it's got a flat top, it's all aluminum. The only scratch Jillian could find was this right here, which you could probably take a little permanent marker or something like that and uh, fill that in. But everything else got really nice little logos right here. You got external struts that's going to help open this thing up and hold it in up position. And over here, you have two um, ladder mounts. So you can put a ladder on each side of the tent, actually three sides. So you can come in from the right side, the left side, there's two mounts right there, or you can come up the front with the ladder. So like I said, we haven't opened this yet. It's going to be kind of exciting to see what it looks like. One hinge there, and if you saw, you can actually lock this. So if you had a little lock, maybe like a little suitcase suitcase lock or a master lock, you can actually put those locks on there and nobody can get into your tent. So let's go ahead and lift this thing up. All right, so there it is popped up. Take this elastic band and uh, go around the bottom. What that elastic band does is holds in the sides. So when you go to put this thing away, it's gonna suck everything in so you don't have all the material trying to hang out the side of the tent. All right, so first thoughts, there is a mattress in here. Underneath the mattress, there is almost a half inch condensation mat. And underneath that, <laughs> there's even a little like rubber uh, mat. And then it's the, the bare aluminum on the bottom. So you have three layers. You have that condensation and then the mattress itself, which there seems to be almost no padding in there. They probably say it's like two inches thick, but just the weight of my hand, I can squeeze that down to pretty much nothing. But we've got the rain fly. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the tent. So like I said, you can come in from the front side or each side. So I'll just stick our heads in right through here. This is two rails for a roof rack. So it actually comes with a roof rack. You can mount 
um, to the top. So all the way along the outside of this tent is a T-rail and you can slide a bolt in there, bolt stuff on. So you can put a bike rack on there, solar panels, canoe, kayak, whatever you want. So that's cool that it comes with a roof rack. Most other brands, it probably is uh, an add-on you gotta pay for. Let's see, these right here are probably the stakes that hold up the uh, canopy awning on the front. This is all hardware right here in this bag. This is probably for, yeah, this is to mount this on your roof rack and probably also the hardware for the, um, the cargo rails for the top of the tent. Got a little instruction booklet how to mount it let's see this is this is actually probably the hardware that's probably the hardware for the roof rack let's see we got one really nice shoe bag right here to hang on the side if you don't want to bring your shoes inside looks like we got two we got two shoe bags which leaves us this big bag right here this is probably the ladder so Go ahead and open up this bad boy. All right, first look at the ladder and his telescoping. That's cool. All right. It's pretty much the same ladder that comes with all the other name brand tents. Not that Nature Nest is not a name brand, but everybody likes to compare these to like iCampers and CVT and other brands. So going into the tent from the front side, you do have this nice rain fly right here. You have a screen window as well as a rain fly right here to close the entire thing up. So it's a pretty open tent. You do have a nice little holder right there for like cell phones, wallets, keys. You even got a clear one if you want to put pictures in there, maybe a little map. You also have more pockets over there. A lot of storage in this little tent. So Jillian just pointed out the front door, the screen actually rolls up. The two side doors, the screen goes down. So if you use either one of these for an access or entry point, you're gonna have to crawl over the screen and the rain fly every time you wanna go in and out. So you gotta make sure you don't drag anything over it that's gonna rip it or tear it. Would have been a good idea if they did just like this door where they had the windows and screen roll up towards the top. But that's kind of the only flaw that she found real quick. There is a USB port um, right there and there actually is an LED light strip that goes across the top so you also have two air vents right there it's good helps with condensation I'll tell you what for $1,200 this is a hell of a lot of tent um, all aluminum has a nice weather stripping gasket all the way around it clamps nice and tight I can't imagine any moisture getting in there um, down the road many years from now if it does start to leak it looks like it's just a door gasket that you could probably get from like Home Depot by like a roll of like 10 15 20 feet pull this one out slide the new one in i think you'd be good to go same thing with the gas struts um you can just pop those off measure them for length get your new gas struts if those ever wear out so um, i think a lot of these parts that would ever wear out um, you could potentially just get at, like a hardware store or order online so i don't think it's like one of those custom made things where if you had a tent like this um, you'd have to go to the company order it hopefully it's not back ordered a lot of this stuff you could probably just go to a local hardware store and just get yourself so here's one of the brackets this is for the roof rack so like I said, you can slide this anywhere around, adjust it for mountain bikes, kayaks, canoes, paddle boards. Um, if you wanted to put solar up here, you could put the rails across and mount some solar panels on it. That's pretty much what I plan on doing. I have 180 watt solar panel I wanna put on this and that can go straight inside the tent to my Rock Pals power bank and that'll power all accessories that I need. Air conditioner, heater for winter, you name it. Things I do like, it has ladder accessibility points on all three sides. It didn't come with one set of brackets that you gotta take off and mount every time you want to uh, change the ladder location. The mounts are already there. All you have to do is just hook the ladder with these little hooks on those, you're good to go. So um, I'm gonna have someone come over here and help me lift this thing up, put it on one of our vehicles, and I'll do a second video once it's mounted. But like I said, um, so far it's pretty promising all aluminum you got these slots all the way around if you want to mount some kind of awning or um a road shower you know something that's going to go in there in those slots let's see the only thing we kind of thought was weird was how the screens do fold in from the bottom that we got to crawl in and out over them nice soft padding insulation a little bit of insulation it's kind of just like a 
uh, a mattress material like you'd have at your your home mattress um, you can even slide some stuff back behind here put them in the pockets like i said pictures got some nice little screen windows i can imagine the mattress probably is not the most comfortable mattress i'll just tell you that right off the bat it is really nice that it comes with a condensation mat and everything else that is a big plus a lot of other name brand tents um, don't even offer that of course you got the led light strip up there air vents nice little rain fly right there and this tent is 53 inches wide by about 84 inches long so that's gonna about wrap up this unboxing video I'm just waiting on my friend to come over. We're going to set this up probably on the camper and Jillian and I are actually going to take it up in the mountains uh, on this Friday. So it'll be used for its very first trip coming right up. Um, it was $1,200, about $200 in shipping um, plus tax. Um, that is a great price for a hard shell um, tent like this. It did arrive in a crate. I was expecting it to come in a torn up, ripped up box because third party delivery companies usually don't really care about the product. They're just trying to get it from point A to point B. But the fact that it came in a crate, that tells me something like this Amazon company, Bama Car, they actually care about their product and they want the customer to have a um, good experience. So I was tickled to death with that. There was one little scratch on it, but like I said, I didn't even notice at first, but Jillian saw it. So I'm just going to take a little black marker or something like that, fill it in. You probably will never even know it was there. So um, can't wait to get this thing set up. I am going to put solar panel on the roof, 180 watts, and uh, that should do pretty good with my little power bank. But um, like I said, it was a, I was actually surprised. Good tent. They have come a long way since they first came out. Um, the very first tent that really came out like this in uh, the U.S. was the Smittybilt Overlander. And I bought that back in like 2014 or 15, The very one of the very first Christmases that they were out. And I've had rooftop tents on and off um, since then, so... Like I said, I'm happy to see where they've come, and this one's no exception to all the other brands that are on the, the market right now. But this is my first all aluminum one. I've had fiberglass ones like this one right here, um, but I'm excited for this because you can mount stuff to the top. Um, fiberglass ones like this, I can't put a solar panel really up there, can't mount bikes, can't put a, a, roof, a roof rack and hold really anything on there. But this one's nice and flat and aluminum and sturdy. I can walk across this if I had to and um that's where these ones actually come in handy so thanks again for the video give it a thumbs up follow along if you guys want to see more about this tent